Whitney. Thanks for watching today. Today I'm going to be doing a Vixen crochet hairstyle using Brayden hair. And I'm going to show you how I achieve this look, this kinky straight hair look. So let's get into it. Okay, so here basically my hair is stretched out. I have it in a braid out and then I'm just pulling it apart so that it's like a full afro. Then I'll start the parting process. So basically what I'm trying to do is part my hair down all the way to the crown of my head in the front so that I have one middle part that's going to be used as my leave out. So you'll see what I'm doing right here. Basically after I do that, then I'll secure the two sides into a ponytail, but I definitely want the middle to have one big area of leave out, which is at the crown of my head. So at the very, very back, I actually have my hair in a ponytail, and that's also gonna be leave out, but you'll see. So basically, there's gonna be four areas that I have leave out. Um, the middle area, which is also gonna be used as my middle part. Then I'm gonna have leave out in the very, very back, put that in a ponytail, and that'll be the leave out in the back so that I can secure the hair up into a ponytail or whatever. And then I'll also have leave out on the two sides. Um, so basically, I can have leave out that's covering the cornrows that I do in these two side ponytails. So you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute after I finish braiding the hair up and combing out the leave out. Um, so basically right now what I'm doing here is securing the leave out in the middle so that it doesn't get messed up when I start to braid and cornrow my hair back. All right, so leave out will be secured. Then I'll start to cornrow as you can see here. I've done the two, the four areas of leave out, and now I'm doing the cornrows. Um, I'm doing about five cornrows, cornrow back. As you can see, I'm about to finish with these cornrows, but I'm only doing five in the middle. And yeah, sometimes when the braids are long and hanging off your scalp, then you can crochet the braids into itself. So basically that's what I'm doing here. I'm using my crochet needle to crochet the braids that are hanging into itself onto the braids that are on the scalp. If you want a tutorial on how to crochet, I can make one for you, but right now this is just quick showing you what I'm doing. So once that is done, it's all set, and I'm just showing you here what I did, how it's not hanging off no more. And this is the leave out. So this leave out I did in the front area, two sections of leave out in the front, and then that one that's also in the middle. So. Right there in the front you can see three areas of leave out okay and this is gonna be the back of the hair I put the back in a ponytail that ponytail is gonna be leave out as well and what I did with the braids crocheting themselves into each other it doesn't have to be pretty it doesn't matter if it's sloppy no one's gonna see those braids and no one's gonna see that leave out pattern so here is the hair that I use as a free dress and I use the 18 inch braiding hair because I didn't want my hair to be feeling weighted down with anything more than an 18 inch length. And so this is what the hair looks like when you pull it out of the pack, but we don't want that size. We want something small so that we can crochet just about that size. And then I guess to crocheting, I usually start with the furthest braid at the very bottom of it and just start to crochet. Um, I can show you the method right here. This is what I do. I'll put that crochet hair in and then I just begin to crochet it, um, wrap the edge of itself into the loop and then tighten it. I tend to tighten it. I make two knots, but you can see here what I'm doing. Again, if you want a crochet, how to crochet your hair tutorial on your braids, let me know in the comments. I can make one for you. As I said, this was just a quick tutorial, just so you can see what type of hair I'm using, what the method is that I'm doing and how I achieve the look. So in order to get the hair to stay tight, a lot of the times I hate when I crochet my hair and the braiding hair loosens and like feels like really, really loose. I want it to feel tight. So I tend to do a double loop on the hair, as you can see that I've done here.
All right, so here's the last one that I'm gonna do before I basically finish the style and come back with the hair done. Like I said, put the hair through itself, make that loop, double loop it, and then pull it so that it's tightened. And that is how you crochet. Again, I can do a full tutorial. Let me know in the comments. Okay, so the hair is done, finished. I did the leave out. I straightened the leave out in the front. I made a middle part with the leave out that I had. And you can see right here, the hair is crocheted. The hair is straightened in front of it. The leave out is there in the front of it. Fully done. You could just brush it to make it look cute, to make it look as nice as you want. Um, I use a big tooth comb to do mine. You could also use one of those like big tooth brushes, but I use a big tooth comb because I usually use that on my natural hair anyway. And it works, it goes through the hair, you know. Problem with that is that when it's not pre-stretched, it may tangle a bit. Luckily this is a pre-stretched, so it's not gonna tangle and it looks really nice. All right, so this is it. This is the finished look. There you go, you can see I straightened everything up and let me show you the length of the hair right here. So it just goes down to like, you know, bra length, bra strap length. Um, it looks really cute, it looks really natural, it just looks like a blowout on my hair. Really love it and it's really, really cute. If there are any other hairstyles you want me to do, let me know in the comments. And thanks guys for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Everything is linked below. All the hair that I use is linked below. And if you want a crochet video, let me know down below. Thanks again for watching. Bye guys. Am I, am I?